Varicose veins, they can, you know, really make some women feel self-conscious and embarrassed. While varicose veins may be unsightly, it's what lies beneath them that can possibly lead to more serious health problems. Absolutely. Luckily, there are ways to treat them. Today, we're going to talk about one option. It's called Varathena, which can improve vein appearance and five key varicose vein symptoms. We met with Dr. Zoe Deal from the Center for Vein Restoration to learn more. Take a look. Varicose veins are branches of dilated or tortuous veins that grow off of an underlying tree trunk vein, usually the greater saphenous vein. So the purpose of the veins in your legs are to take the blood up towards your heart. They do that with a one-way valve system that opens and closes to allow the blood to go up but not come back down. Varicose veins occur when the valves inside the veins don't function properly. They don't close, so the blood, rather than going up, comes back down, causing varicose veins to grow. Varicose veins are large bluish colored veins underneath the skin, in some cases can appear like cords or ropey veins under the skin. Risk factors for varicose veins may include family history, being overweight, pregnancy, working at jobs requiring prolonged standing or sitting, and more. For Rochelle, family history and a job that keeps her on her feet contributed to her varicose veins. My legs are very important to me because I don't sit down where I work. I have been a pharmacist since 1986. I'm married for 31 years, have four adult children, and I just like helping others. So it was about 16 years ago when my daughter first noticed that I had varicose vein. She was knee level and she came past me and just swiped my leg and said, oh, mommy, you have gummy worms on on the back of your legs. So then I took a mirror, saw the reflection, and yes, they look like gummy worms. I noticed I was getting tired and my legs were feeling heavy. So then I started to research to see how I can help myself. When patients have varicose veins, the symptoms that they can feel are heaviness, aching, swelling, throbbing, and itching. I had the vein stripping procedure. That was my option at the time. It was a one day stay at the hospital. I was in the operating room, came out looking like a mummy and actually wrapped. I was off work from about three to four weeks. I was demobilized and that wasn't a good feeling. I never thought to see if there was other options because it was working. Treatment options for varicose veins vary depending on severity and symptoms. One of the options to treat varicose veins is exercise and leg elevation. Compression stockings can also treat the symptoms of vein disease. Scleral therapy is an option for the varicose vein branches that arise from the greater saphenous vein. Thermal ablation is our current standard treatment and it's been used for many years. Vein stripping is where we would take you to the operating room and do a procedure to pull the tree trunk or greater saphenous vein out of your leg. Microphlebectomy is another treatment for the branches or varicose veins where we make small nicks in the skin and pull those branches out. Patients are hesitant usually to seek treatment because this is a hereditary disease. They've seen a grandmother or a grandfather who underwent vein stripping and because of how much more invasive that was, they don't want to have that treatment themselves. They're not aware that the newer techniques that we have are much less invasive. About a year and a half ago, I started having similar symptoms from the past. The achiness, the heaviness, the itchiness of my legs to touch. I knew to seek out treatment. When I first had my consultation with Dr. Dill, the results showed that my varicose veins reappeared. Dr. Dill mentioned a few options and the Varathena was the best option for me. The discomfort caused by varicose veins can be alleviated by several treatments, and your physician will discuss the options with you and the potential side effects for each of them. Varathena is a prescription medicine and is currently the only FDA-approved foam treatment used to treat varicose veins caused by problems in the leg's great saphenous vein, GSV, and other related veins in the leg's GSV system. Varathena improves symptoms related to or caused by varicose veins and the appearance of varicose veins. 
You should not be treated with Varathena if you're allergic to polydocanol or have clots in your blood vessels. Please stay tuned for additional important safety information. Varathena is administered by injection of foam through a catheter or by direct injection into the veins that need treatment. The foam fills and treats the desired section of the vein. The diseased vein collapses and the foam is deactivated. Varathena can treat a wide range of varicose veins that arise from the greater saphenous system, both above and below the knee, including small, medium, and large diameter veins, tortuous or twisty veins, and also veins that have been treated by other modalities in the past. Varathena is not indicated to treat cosmetic veins, such as spider veins or reticular veins. Varathena improves vein appearance and five key varicose vein symptoms, heaviness, aching, swelling, throbbing, and itching. The most common side effects seen with Varathena are leg pain or discomfort, injection site bruising or pain, and potentially serious blood clots in the leg veins. These are not all the possible side effects of Varathena. The administration of Varathena is minimally invasive. There are no incisions, sedation, or general anesthesia required. Patients may resume some activities the same day as treatment. Compression stockings must be worn on the treated leg for two weeks, and heavy exercise should be avoided for one week. For one month, patients should walk at least 10 minutes a day and avoid long periods of inactivity. It's important for patients to follow post-procedure care instructions provided by your doctor. My experience with Verathena, it did not inhibit any of my lifestyle. I went into work after the treatment. I had the ease of wearing compression stockings compared to the vein stripping where I had to be wrapped in dressing. After they've gone through treatment and they get the energy back in le their legs, they can do the activities that they love. I noticed each week I was doing better. My legs did not feel as heavy. I didn't have itchiness to my legs. I had less achiness. I love the fact that I don't see them. It has increased self-esteem again. That's one of the greatest joys. Remember to talk to your physician to see if Verathena is right for you. And you can learn more by visiting verathena.com and you can always go to our website, thebalancingact.com. We'll be right back. Stay tuned for important safety information at the end of the program. Verathena polydocanol injectable foam is a prescription medicine used to treat varicose veins caused by problems with the great saphenous vein, GSV, and other related veins in the leg's GSV system. Verathena improves symptoms related to or caused by varicose veins and the appearance of varicose veins. Important safety information. You should not be treated with Verathena if you're allergic to polydocanol or have clots in your blood vessels. Severe allergic reactions have been reported in people treated with liquid forms of polydocanol and some patients have died from these reactions. Verathena is a foam made from polydocanol. A healthcare professional will observe you for signs of allergic reactions for at least 10 minutes after you are treated with Verathena. Tell your doctor about all your medical conditions, including if you have arterial disease, a disease of the blood vessels, reduced mobility, a history of blood clots in the veins or lungs, had major surgery in the past three months, recently had a long hospital stay, become pregnant, or were recently pregnant. The most common side effects seen with Verathena are leg pain or discomfort, injection site bruising or pain, and potentially serious blood clots in the leg veins. These are not all the possible side effects of Verathena. Tell your health care provider about any side effect that bothers you or that does not go away. You can also report side effects to the FDA at 1-800-FDA-1088. Verathena is administered by your doctor. Doctors using Verathena must be experienced in vein procedures and trained in using Verathena. See full prescribing information for Verathena at Verathena.com.